how to define possibilities then the real problem of geography is to identify and utilization of those possibilities <music>
what exactly say he uh, like considered this man and environment relationship man and environment relationship read see i know now all those who are watching recording you must be quite comfortable in, like in riding a bike or you you you, you must have visited like road many a times you know because okay. uh, like you will find over there while uh, say you are on signal right you must have observed the role of traffic controller there traffic inspector there see like this traffic inspector okay actually this uh, this uh, you know images basically are taken by the uh, one of the famous traffic controller that is he was he is basically in kerala okay so he is very famous he got so famous because of his uh, unique moves as in so being in a service you can you know you you you, you are not supposed to do your duty just like in a, a, a plain way you you can have some innovations as well you can have your own unique way to perform your duties right so just like i have taken that particular screenshot there now see for like what is the role of traffic controller there traffic controller what traffic controller he can like allow you right he just can ask you to go slow right he can ask you to go slow traffic controller may ask you to stop for a time being you know he may ask you to stop over uh, like signal for a time being but he is not like uh, supposed to like stop your movement forever and what else he can do he can allow your like accelerate or continue your movement ab baaki bhi kuch role honge to wo khair you must you guys are must be aware about theek hai but what like the very uh, uh, imagined role of traffic controller is okay are like he can ask you he may ask you to go slow he may ask you to stop as well or he may ask you to continue your movement but do right does he have any uh, you know authority to like change your destination or target absolutely not if you are basically moving towards like uh, say you're co- going to a college or your classes or maybe any uh, function right functional hall over there you know you have a predetermined target in your mind that like, yeah i want to reach over by this particular time so accordingly you will manage all your uh, you know commutation however this traffic controller can ask you to like just just have like uh, uh, go with a slow, slow speed continue or you can accelerate further or he can ask you for a diversion for a time being right for a time being or like in a way like stop as well but traffic controller cannot ask you to change your destination like except in some exceptional cases right except in some exceptional cases you will find he is not supposed to ask you to change your destination because it is not his duty at all his duty is to maintain this fact that this commutation must be swift enough right commutation must be swift enough, swift enough. now you guys must be then asking sir you are now uh, why you have discussed the role of traffic controller over here because we are supposed to discuss new data but see guys this new determinism is what having so resembles okay or relatable behavior between man and environment if you ask griffith teller what he considered like he considered that driver or that rider is what and warming who is having so determined target right that that particular environment it is having so determined target that yes i want to ensure like this development of this earth in this particular fashion maybe by industrial growth maybe by uh, you know population rise maybe by any way as science and technological growth as in way so that environment is like a rider nature like in that sense and man is what a kind of traffic controller what he is doing or what he 
एनी वे कैन डू ही कैन आस्क यू टू गो ही कैन आस्क यू टू एक्सेलरेट ही कैन आस्क लाइक एनवायरमेंट राइट और ही कैन मेक एनवायरमेंटल प्रोसेस मोर फास्टर रिटार्डेड और स्लोवर और स्टॉप फॉर ए टाइम बिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल लाइक यू लाइक like for example there was a report that due to human made event what global cooling phase global cooling phase see it has at least postponed postponed by 1 lakh years as of now due to human made event so what human did you know it had just made this delayed event nature ka dekho nature ka target hai that like we are basically between two cooling phases okay and global warming is what one of the uh, phase as in so did we the target decided by nature is what global cooling and that is going to happen what man can do he can merely you know delay this occurrence he can merely delay this occurrence right so man is like a traffic controller to him man is like again a traffic manager okay that the role of man is to ensure that environment will reach at its final destination if he is wise he will rather follow the rules and regulation followed by environment itself yeah because okay, environment to apne target pe jayega hi jayega jaise aap jaoge environment is as well supposed to reach its own target but if you are unnecessary creating a hurdles right right in that case right like environment relationship in that case you have to pay the price for it. see the very basic understanding about this new determinism that is as well known as stop and go determinism see why stop and go determinism because the traffic controller as such will find having this role to play he can either stop he can either like allow your movement right stop and go determinism as well so man is supposed to ensure a shift flow of nature target however if he is wise he will continue with the same pace and what nature wanted however if he is not supposed to follow the dictate given by nature right in that case he has to pay the price for in fact in life whatever decision you take you have to pay the price for absolutely you have to pay the price for same is the case with the this case as what see like this new determinism griffit teller in 1920 argued that the limit of the agriculture settlements in australia has been set by factors of the physical environment such as distribution of rainfall in a sense what nature has decided the destiny of australian desert that this is not supposed to have you know like uh, uh, what exactly like production that in a production as like for alluvial or plain region so nature will for sure ensure or reach its target if man is wise he is not supposed to you know unnecessary offer that particular achievement of target okay so like he actually he was somehow uh, opponent of uh, possibility somehow in a sense yeah he was a uh, uh, opponent of possibilism and in that regard he further extended this theory he further said that the best economic program for a country to follow as in a large part has been determined by nature nature gives you a clue nature gives you a hint that you should follow this particular target because nature has decided that the target as in okay and it is the geographer's duty to interpret this program see what is the role of geographer then he he imagine he considered then you should ensure this fact that this target defined by nature must be identified by you you must identify the target defined by nature so that you will follow that it accordingly agar aapko pata hi nahi like say for example if nature has decided like uh, uh, like for any particular case like the growth of any particular region if it is by means of industrial growth and if you are trying to promote that growth by means of agriculture or maybe by means of any other way in that case you know you are trying to divert the nature's target and in that case you have to pay the 
because that land you know chota nagpur plateau region is not actually made up for right say agriculture as such in uh, like in a true sense it is rather enriched by nature by coal and iron resources that means the potential for this region is for industrial development so do keep ensure that particular time i hope you guys are getting thus what exactly this new determinism it talks about so man is able to accelerate slow or stop the progress of a country regions development country regions development but he sh- like should not if he is wise depart from directions as indicated by natural environment he should follow you no know, the directions given by natural environment. now it is man's skill they go ultimately it is what man's skill you can connect it with the joshimat issue right jo uh, like uh, say it is or joshimat or say himalayan tourism you can connect with that what nature want nature want that you should limit your development in the hilly region mainly within its carrying capacity and if you are not going to follow this limitation set by nature you know you have to pay the price for in terms of cloudburst event like kedarnath you have to follow the events like joshi madan now those you will find in the future as well so you know the same he is like a traffic controller in a large city who alters the rate but not the direction of absolutely not the direction of progress this theory also called as stop and go determinism it says that man follows the nature plans only if he is wise Pre- presuming he can act foolishly which admits the possible connection that within broad limit set by environment man can choose at the very least but wisdom and folly are human's concept nature is not aware about either of them and hence nature it ultimately is going to follow its own defined target and man environment relationship according to griffith tweller and neo determinist actually lies on this kind of relationship yeah nature is like a main driver and traffic controller is like a man right so they engages in this kind of play i hope guys you are having now pretty much clarity over this topic of neo determinism or stop and go determinism if you really like it please like the video subscribe to our channel and share it as well thank you mm-hmm.